let me show you how you can make uh, the text from looking like this to making looking like this curved. If you look closely to this text that is curved, you can see that it has a circle around it. Uh, so this is uh, the first step that we want to do. Let's uh, bring this up a little bit. So what you want to do first is to select uh, an ellipse tool, the ellipse tool, and uh, drag an ellipse. I will uh, press shift to constrain proportions. And um, now Let's select uh, the text tool, precisely text type on a path tool. This is what it's, it's called, type on a path tool. So selected. Let's zoom in a bit. So now you can see that um, the type on a path tool changed its uh, uh, appearance. So now it has uh, a curved line. So you want to be close to the edge of the ellipse. Click and now I will type Alice Design Tutorials. Now let's select the text and let's make the text bigger. 72 is fine. Okay, so now I have uh, the text like this but it's in the upper side of the ellipse but i want to make it in the lower side yeah so now you can see that i have some lines here and if you want to move the text down you have to select the the direct selection tool and with the direct selection tool you go to this line and you see that um line with an arrow to the right appears. So now what you want to do is uh, left click and drag the text. Yeah. Now it's and now it's in the lower side of the ellipse. So what you basically want to do is to select one of these lines and drag it to adjust the text. But as you can see here, the text is readable from left to right and here is not readable from left to right. If you want to make it readable from left to right, like in this uh, ellipse, you can't do flip horizontally and vertically because it will make it like this. Let me undo this. And uh, what you want to do is to go to type, type on a pad type on a pad options and here let me check the preview box uh, to see what uh, the changes will be in the real time and now you have here some options uh, for example you have the um, rainbow effect skew ribbon and other more options but what interests us is this flip options when I uh, check this box, now the text is readable from uh, left to right. So what I want to do is to make it uh, outside of the ellipse. And I will go to align to pad options and choose the sender. Press OK. And now you see that text is uh, a little bit to the left. What I want to do is to go here to this line and adjust the text accordingly. And you see that if I uh, move that line too far to the right, the text is cropped. And this is because I have the other uh, line here. And I have to, um, I need to drag it farther. Okay, so what you can do with this uh, type uh, of text that is curved? So basically you want, you want to make it like this, yeah, from a straight text. You want to curve it around an object like this donut here, for example. And that's it. Like and subscribe.